Hey, somebody turn on the lights so we can find the <laughs> the light switch. Let's play a game. You have to try and find me. That's a one-of-a-kind cuckoo clock, made by Geppetto himself. You should try that toy later. I have a feeling you'll be in for a big surprise. <laughs> hey, how about a story? Golly, that's pretty. Kind of reminds me of a magic kingdom. That's a one-of-a-kind cuckoo clock, made by Geppetto himself. You're getting colder. You should try that toy later. I have a feeling you'll be in for a big surprise. You should try that toy later. I have a feeling you'll be in for a big surprise. You're getting warmer. You're getting warmer. <laughs> oh, hi there. Cricket's the name. <laughs> Jiminy Cricket. Have you ever heard of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Peter Pan, Dumbo, or Alice in Wonderland? They're all in this book. Would you like me to read you a story? Uh, <clears throat> I kind of need some help. <clears throat> On a dark and rainy night a long, long time ago, in a kingdom far, far away, in a quaint little cottage, deep within a beautiful enchanted forest, there lived a... <clears throat> Oh, uh, <laughs> pardon me. It's just that I've been reading these stories for so many years. Say, I have an idea. I'll pick out each of the happy ending pages, then you can guess which story to put them back into. <laughs> sort of like a game. Now there's a happy ending for you. Snow White and the Prince live happily ever after. Now that we have the happy ending, it's time for you to open the storybook and find the right story.
better put this one on the shelf. At least until someone can shed a little light on this situation. Well, as I live and breathe, the Blue Fairy. Sir Jiminy, you are an official conscience, entrusted with the duty of helping others choose between right and wrong. Did you do something wrong tonight? No! Well, I mean, I did tear out these pages, but I was just trying to... I, I mean, it's, it's just a book. Jiminy, once a story is read, it becomes alive in the imagination of the person who heard the story. By removing the happy endings, the heroes were left in peril, and the villains put in control. Huh. Some conscience I turned out to be. My friend and I'll put the pages back. No, no. The villains have already started to change the stories. You are going to have to travel into the stories to fix them. We can do that, my lady. Uh, I hope. Hello there. Oh, hello. I'm out, and you're out too. No, I'm not. My name is Ian. How could you forget that? I live right next door oh, to you. Don't start. I meant our new guests here are out, and you probably want to go in. Inside the stories, that is. Now, why would you want to do that? Haven't you heard all of the villains have taken over? Well, perhaps our guests can help. What do you mean? Help the villains? No, no. Helping the villains would be wrong. Our guests must do what's right and help the storybook heroes. Oh, yeah. But before we let you enter, we must make sure that you know what the heroes look like. Okay, let's all look for Pinocchio. When you find him, point to where he is. Excellent! There's Pinocchio! Now for something a bit more difficult. Let's find TikTok from the story of Peter Pan. Right! Uh, by the way, who's TikTok? He's the crocodile that's always chasing after Captain Hook. Oh, that's right! He lives on my door! TikTok lives right above Pinocchio. His ticking keeps the poor kid up all night. There he is! Hey, TikTok, you're late on the rent again! Now let's look for Peter. Here's Peter Ben now! Hi, Pete! Now it's time to search for Jiminy Cricket. Hey, I'm right here. There's Jiminy. I say, that was like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Actually, it was more like trying to find a carved cricket on a wood door, if you want to be precise. Yes. Well, next we have to find Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Hello, Alice! Now we must search for another fair maiden by the name of Snow White. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? There she is! It's Snow White! Now it's time for you to find Dopey! That's Dopey. There you go again, making fun of our talented guest. Now it's time to find little Tinkerbell. There you are, Tinkerbell. You're the light of my life. Now, here's a tricky one. You have to try to find the Cheshire Cat. There's the Cheshire Cat. Now we have to look for Grumpy from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. If you thought Grumpy was Grumpy before, you should see him now that he's been written out of the story of Snow White. Grumpy is on my door, but he's not happy about it. He's all the way on top, but uh, he's not happy about it. There's Grumpy! Ooh, he doesn't look happy. You just need to find a few more of our friends, and then you'll be ready to enter the stories. Let's look for Sleepy. There's Sleepy! Well, what do you know? He's sleeping. There's a big surprise. Now we have to find the White Rabbit, because he's late for a very important date. There's the White Rabbit! 
Good. Now let's look for Dumbo. There you go again, calling our guests' names. There's Dumbo. Now you have to find Doc. Um, would it be possible? I mean, could it be all right with you? I mean, can't you just let us bask in the glory of having found Dumbo for one measly little second before barking at the name of the next missing person? Would that be all right with you? We're on the last one. Ah, okay, never mind. Hi, what's up, Doc? Try to remember who we work for. Our guest has just proven that they know what all of the storybook heroes look like, and they're ready to enter. We'll swing open and let you go in. But I don't want to go. I meant them! Ooh, well, somebody woke up on the wrong side of the door today. Come on! This is gonna be some adventure! Things sure look familiar. Hey, they're all from the different stories. Alice has got to be around here someplace. I'm ready to save Alice, if you are. Look around, until you can figure out which entrance Alice's voice is coming from the loudest. Oh, out of the way, I'm late, I'm late! The soldiers are after us, but we can't just save our own necks. We have to find Alice's first! Grab that thing before it hits us! You've got to stop this one. You've got to stop this one. Hey, watch out! <laughs> Clear away that smoke! You've got to stop this one. Clear away that smoke! I suggest you hurry then. Don't forget we about me. White rabbit, we'll get out. There you go. That's using your head, uh, or at least your ears. You've got to stop this one. Quick! Grab that thing before it hits us. Hey! Why? <laughs> You've got to stop this one. Quick! You've got to stop this one. Quick! Grab that thing before it hits us! Please hurry! My nose is itching! Oh, now she's going forward! Oh, she's going backward! Forward! Backward! Forward! Forward! forward. This certainly is a curious garden! There you go! That's using your head, uh, or at least your ears. Stop that Cheshire Cat! Hey! Watch out! <laughs> Grab that thing before it hits us! Just keep following my voice! Until Good work! This path will help us get to Alice. Stop that Cheshire Cat! Grab that thing before it hits us! Hey! Watch out! <laughs> Excuse the pun. I'm over here! No! Over here! This way. Out of the way! I'm late! I'm late! For a very important I'm all alone. And even worse, I have no body. 
I can get you very then. This wasn't such a good choice after all. Guess we should have kept looking for that one path where Alice's voice was loudest. Just follow that rabbit. It'll lead you right to If we follow the white rabbit, we'll get out of here. But if we follow Alice's voice, out of the we'll way. get ahead. <laughs> Excuse me. Please hurry. My nose is itching. This certainly is a curious... Yep, Alice's voice was definitely the loudest from this direction. Don't forget about me. There you go. That's using your head, uh, or at least your ears. Grab that thing before it hits us. Clear away that smoke! Oh. Clear oh. away that smoke! Oh. Grab that thing before it hits us! Hey. Watch out! <laughs> Excuse the pun. Just keep if we follow the white voice. rabbit, we'll get out of here. But if we follow Alice's voice, go we'll get ahead. <laughs> Good work! This path will help us get to Alice. Clear away that smoke! Grab that thing before it hits us! You've got to stop this one, quick! You've got to stop this one, quick! Clear away that smoke! Stop that Cheshire Cat! Just follow my voice. It'll lead you right to me. Oh, now she's going forward. Yep, Alice's voice was definitely the loudest from this direction. Stop that Cheshire Cat! You've got to stop this one, quick! I'm over here! If we follow the white lamb, we'll get out of here. But we... Good work! This path will help us get to Alice. Clear away that smoke! Clear away that smoke! Oh. You've got to stop this one. Quick, oh. clear away that smoke. Hey, watch out. <laughs> Excuse the pun. I'm all alone. And even worse, I have no body. I suggest you hurry. Yep, Alice's voice was definitely the loudest from this direction. Clear away that smoke! Clear away that oh. smoke! Oh. You've got to stop this one! Quick! Oh. You've got to stop this one! Hey! Watch out! <laughs> Excuse the pun. Why, there you are! I'm very surprised at you, though, running off like that. And just when I needed you for support. <laughs> Guess that's why they call this place Wonderland. Come, come, there's no time to waste. We must find the White Rabbit so he can lead us home. <laughs> Hurry, the guards are on their way. Oh, out of the way, I'm late, I'm late. Here you go, friend. You'll need this paintbrush. Hurry, Down paint there. that rose tree. Oops! Ah, uh, sorry, officer. Come, come, there's no time to waste. Oh, out of the way, I'm late. I'm... Good choice. Clear away that smoke! You've got to stop this one, quick! Grab that thing before it hits us! 
Clear away that smoke! Clear away that smoke! Oh, hey, the roast fly, you know, to distract the guards. Come, come, there's no time to waste. Oh, out of the way, I'm late, I'm late. For a very Good choice. Grab that thing before it hits us! Clear away that smoke! Grab that thing before it hits us! You bought us bad roast white, you know, to distract the guards. If we follow the white rabbit, we'll get out of here! Oh, out of the way! I'm late, I'm late! for a very important thing. Good choice. Hurry, well, take that well roast tree. The queen. If we follow the white well, rabbit, the good choice. Grab that thing before it hits us. You gotta stop this one, quick. Grab that thing before it hits us. Pay the roast white, you know, to distract the guards. Clear away that smoke. Clear away that smoke. I think we're about halfway home. Oh, out of the way, I'm late. Good choice. Grab that thing before it hits us. You've got to stop this one, quick. Clear away that smoke. Grab that thing before Come it comes. Come on, paint the road. If we follow the white rabbit, we'll get out of here. Out of the way, I'm late, I'm late. Good work. Oh, Pay the roast the white, the you know, to distract the guards. Come, come, there's no time to waste. Oh, out of the way, I'm late. Good choice. You've got to stop this one, quick! You've got to stop this one. Grab that thing before it hits us. Hurry, Get take that. that rose tree. You've got to stop this one. Grab that thing before it hits us. There's no time to waste. Oh, out of the way, I'm... Good work! You've got to stop this one, quick! You've got to stop this one. You've got to stop this one, quick! Come oh, on, paint the road. Win. Clear away that smoke! Clear away that smoke! There's no time to waste. Oh, out of the way, I'm late, I'm late. Good choice. Clear away that smoke. You've got to stop this one, quick. Clear away that smoke. Come Go on, there. paint the roses. Clear away that smoke! 
grab that thing before it hits us. Now we're really close to getting home. Oh, out of the way, I'm late, I'm late. Good work. Clear away that smoke. Grab that thing before it hits us. Grab Come on. Down there. Paint the roses. Grab that thing before it hits us. Grab that thing before it hits us. Clear away that smoke. You've got to stop this one. Down You've got to stop this one. Quick. Grab that thing before it hit. Grab that thing before it hits us. You've got to stop this one. Quick. You've got to stop this one. Quick. You've got to stop this one. Quick. Grab that thing before it hits us. Hey, oh, the the you know, to distract the guards. Grab that thing before it hits us. Grab that thing before it hits us. It was very nice of you to save me, and my story. Please do drop by again. Looks like Alice made it back home. I just love a happy ending. <laughs> Say, that was pretty swell. You actually saved one of the stories, but there's three more where that came from. Which one do you want to tackle next? Smee! Bring me Peter Pan at once! We're going to have a sword fight. But, Captain, Peter Pan always wins. Tonight will be different, me. Tonight will be different. Hmm, sure sounds like something's rotten in Neverland. scarier than that big skull is the big guy he used to belong to. So much for never growing up, eh, Peter? Peter, you bore me. What say you to this? We just call this a win for me, and you can settle in early this evening and retire. Forever! Retire? Never! Not while I can still hold this blade steady enough to run you through! Be 
If you've got a taste for cold steel, then get up here, you scurvy swab! Pick up the sword. Friend of Peter's is no friend of mine. To block Hook, just move your sword to where the shield is. That's it. That's it. Turn him around. That's it. Turn him around. There's an opening in the crow's nest. Back out there. I, I mean, back in there. Get up there. We have to return to Neverland. If one pirate jabs first, block him, then jab the other pirate. are coming from.
Go on, use your sword to toss hook sword. I know you're trying to save Peter Pan, but you must never strike an unarmed man. Hook needs his sword for it to be fair. You should toss it back to him through the air. Get back out there. I, I mean back in there. Get up there. We have to return to Neverland. There's nowhere to run. Go on, use your sword to toss hook sword back to him. Like in the movies. Keep pushing it back! You were finally turning in my favor, and then you had to show up. Let's get back to the book, so you can see Hook get his, and uh, in the end. for setting things right. And if you ever need to find me, I'm in the book. Two stories down and two to go. What's next? Come on, we can't stay here for too long. The heroes are in trouble. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs has one of my favorite happy endings. But I have a feeling things may have changed since the last time I read it. Can you help me get out of this thorny situation? That's the right branch. Keep working on it. That's it. Whoop, that's the stuff. Ooch! That's it. Mm, not bad. That's it. Mm, not bad. That's it. Move that branch off to the side. That's the stuff. Woohoo! That, that's the stuff. That, hmm, not bad. That's it. Move that branch off to the side. Hmm, not bad. That's it. Move that branch off to the side. Now you just have to move these last two branches out of the way. That's it. Just one more branch and I'm a free man. Well, <clears throat> a free cricket, that is. You did it! You not only freed me, but you cleared a path to that big... Big Apple? Hmm. Guess the evil queen's been doing some redecorating.
always wanted to visit the Big Apple. I just imagined it being under better circumstances. from my dungeon. Quick, we have to save Snow White before it's too late. Oh no, it looks like we're too late. Snow White. In my version of the story, there is no prince to save you, and soon the seven dwarves will be joining you in eternal slumber. <laughs> Boy, talk about an unhappy ending. When the last grain of sand falls through this hourglass, my next poisoned apple will be ready. <laughs> Uh-oh, that doesn't give us much time before old Richie comes back again. Ooh, that dungeon is scary. I'm sure not going down there. Hey, let's take a closer look at those ingredients. Now we should go back to those shelves of ingredients. Try putting it in the cauldron. I don't think those things work together. Aging potion. That's what the evil queen drinks to turn herself into that old hag. Uh-uh. I wouldn't touch that if I were you. Just plain bad stuff. Hey, let's take a closer look at those ingredients. Say, if you want to start a new spell, just spark up the cauldron to get rid of the old ingredients. Bacchus Elixir. Mummy Dust. When you're done putting in all of the ingredients that you want, spark up the fire under the cauldron. Blast of wind. Uh-oh, that container is empty right now. Maybe the spell book can tell us how to create that potion. Scream of fright. Guess we put in too many ingredients. I'm sure you can find something in here to set things right. But remember, the queen uses these potions to do her evil bidding. So try to stay on the straight and narrow. Here we go. This is it. The potion to create someone's true love. The potion for sleeping death. As your official conscience, I'm warning you, this one is bad news. Ah, to make a thunderbolt. Here's something to create a blast of wind.
Now we should go back to those shelves of ingredients. Wow! Magnesium sulfate. I'm sure you can find something in here to set things right. But remember, the queen uses these potions to do her evil bidding. So try to stay on the straight and narrow. Now we should go back to those shelves of ingredients. Say, if you want to start a new spell, just spark up the cauldron. Mummy dust. Bacchus Elixir. I'm sure you can find something in here to set things right. But remember, the queen you say, if you want to start a new spell, just spark up the cauldron to get rid of the old ingredients. Sting of Scorpion. When you're done putting in all of the ingredients that you want, spark up the fire under the cauldron. Say, that was pretty swell. Now we can use Blast of Wind. Snow White's not getting any younger, you know. Of course, now that she's eating a poison apple, I suppose she's not getting any older either. But we still have to save her. Uh-oh, that doesn't give us much time before Old Witchy comes back again. Go on, open up the spell book. I'm sure you can find something in here to set things right. But remember, the queen uses these potions to do her evil bidding. So try to stay on the straight and narrow. Here we go. This is it. The potion to create someone's true love. Ah, to make a thunderbolt. Now we should go back to those shelves of ingredients. Just plain bad stuff. Gee, I sure hope you know what you're doing. Uh-oh, that container is empty right now. Maybe the spell book can tell us how to create that potion. Cart, hmm, that didn't work. I think you need to put it somewhere else. Gee, I sure hope you know what you're doing. I'm sure you can find something in here to set things right. But remember, the queen uses these potions to do her evil b- Dark of Night. Cactus chips. Aging potion. Blast of wind. Just plain bad stuff. Blast of wind.
rose petals? Crystals. I'm sure you can find something in here to set things right. But remember, the queen uses say, if you want to start a new spell, just spark up the cauldron to get rid of the old ingredients. When you're done putting in all the ingredients, there you go! Now we can use Thunderbolt. I'm sure you can find something in here to set things. Here we go. This is it. The potion to create someone's true love. Now we should go back to those shelves of ingredients. Sunstar. Blast of wind. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Sting of Scorpion. When you're done putting in all of the ingredients that you want, spark up the fire under the cauldron. May I? I think we got the wrong guy, but it's worth a try. Oh well, I must be on my way. Be careful out there. These stories aren't what they used to be. Sunstar Blast of Wind Thunderbolt Eris Elixir on, open up the spell book. I'm sure you can find some the potion for sleeping death. As your official conscience, I'm warning you, this one is bad news. Now we should go back to those shelves of ingredients. Say, if you want to start a new spell, just spark... Gee, I sure hope you know it. I don't think those things work together. Sting of Scorpion. Dark of night. Gee, I sure hope you know what you're doing. Cactus juice. Thunderbolt. Those are green apples. When you're done putting in all the ingredients that you want, Spark up the fire under the cauldron. Wow!
Aging potion. Blast of wind. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. When you're done putting in all of the ingredients that you want, spark up the fire under the cauldron. That's the stuff. Would you look at that? Now the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves ends like it's supposed to. They all live happily ever after, all thanks to you. Hey, let's see what's next in the storybook. Well, this is it, my friend. Just one more story. We can visit Snow White some other time. Right now we have to get to the other stories. Do you know the story of Dumbo? Come on, I'll tell you on the way. Whoa! Well, he's a baby elephant that lives in the circus, and his ears are so big that everyone teases him. Then one day he realizes that his big ears are what makes him special. He can use them to fly. Honest. That's why they call him Dumbo the Flying Elf. Villains and villainesses, please give a nasty cold welcome to Dumbo the Falling Elephant. I certainly don't remember the circus kid looking this way, but I guess that's what happens when a bunch of clowns take over. Say, Mrs. Jumbo, why the long trunk? Because tonight the audience is filled with villains who just laugh at the most dreadful things. And worst of all, Dumbo can't fly anymore. But the clowns keep forcing him to do his high dive act just so they can keep the audience entertained. Don't worry, Mrs. Jumbo. My friend here is a pretty talented character. We'll find a way to save Dumbo. We just need you to give us a lift. Start by making the clown with the paddle hit the other clown instead of Dumbo. <laughs> I can keep the start light for Bumpy Crash at the trampoline. Now make sure everything is set Drop where you want it in. before you make Bumpy jump again. That fireman clown doesn't exactly look like a trapeze artist, but he's our best bet. Hey, that looks like a good angle for the cannon. You know, you should put the beach ball where Bumpy keeps crashing, right in the middle of the right. Now make sure everything is set where you show? want it before you make Bumpy jump again. Oh, 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 oh. 
You know, changing the angle of the cannon seems to change where Bumpy land. Now make sure Happy everything open. is set where you want it before you make Bumpy jump again. Hey, that looks like a good angle for the cannon. Turn off the fire hydrant. Ev, if you can play you can turn off the fire hydrant. Ev, if you can play you can turn off the fire hydrant. Ev, if you can play you can turn off the fire hydrant. Ev, if you can play you can turn off the fire hydrant. Ev, if you can play you can turn off the fire hydrant. Ev, if you can get the circus lion to land on the ranch. Uh-oh. It looks like Drop everything will be back again. You'll have to start from the beginning again. Hey, that looks like a good angle for the cannon. Uh-oh. Bumpy's really living up to his name. Yeah. You know, I think there is someone up there on the trapeze bars to catch him. Uh-oh. It looks like everything moved back again. You'll have to start from the beginning again. Hey, that looks like a good angle for the cannon. like a good angle for the camera. be doing something right, Dumbo can fly again. Let's get back to the storybook and make sure he finds his mother. Nothing stronger than the bond between a mother and her child, especially if they're both elephants. <laughs> wow, you did it! You actually fixed all of the stories. Now we just have to put these pages back in the book and we're done. Hey, who took all of the happy endings? Not me. I just took this one. I only took one page as well. Take cover. Cover? That's it. Grab the magic storybook. Watch out. 
there are villains from the other stories off to the sides. Fire at the nets to shake loose those hooligan pirates. Direct hit. Pat, tilt the book so you can aim the planet balls back where you want them to go. Direct hit. Fire at the nets to shake loose those hooligan Say, why don't you try knocking out those burning lamps? <laughs> Say, why don't you try knocking out those burning lamps? <laughs> Pan and tilt the book so you can aid those poison apples and evil magic back where you want them to go. one of all. To face the other villains, pan all the way over and click. Watch out! There are villains from the other stories off to the sides. Well, I know. If you want to get rid of the mess, fire at the turnbuckle! To shake loose those hooligan pirates! Ha ha ha! That's the stuff! Timber! Ah, <sighs> just two more masks to go. Villains from the other stories off to the sides.
double draft. I hate happy endings. To face the other villains, pan all the way over and click. Hey, there's that mean old Queen of Hearts back there. Try to knock her over. Try to knock down as many of those card soldiers as you can. Great to face the other villains, pan all the way over and click. Watch out! There are villains from the other stories off to the side. Try to knock down as many of those card soldiers as you can. She's retreating to her topiary. That's a statue made out of shrubbery. To aim it to the mouth of that topiary statue, keep the book angled up more. She's firing at us from her mouth. Try to bounce those things back up there. To face the other villains, pan all the way over and click. Pan and tilt the book so you can aim the pies and bowling pins back where you want it to go. To hit the clouds at the top, keep the book angled up more! Clear a path so you can get to that, that evil remaster. The remaster looks worn out. Just a few more hits how to do it. Just keep firing into the mouth of that big clown head. Huh, looks like we put all of the happy endings back, and then some. Yes, that new story is the story of Villain's Night Out. It tells of a cricket who redeems himself 
and his newfound friend, who saves the heroes of the storybook and becomes the greatest storybook hero ever. Remember, you've saved all the heroes and their endings too. Now you can play in their worlds, many or few. Tonight, your imagination has grown, so I grant you a surprise for the toys that you own. Goodbye, my lady. to help find a path that'll lead him all the way to the exit at the very top. I think we've already been here. Try moving out of this section and then spinning the cube. Looks like you're on the right track. So far. Hmm, 
That doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. This game is a lot of fun. It's called Pirate Block. Now let's see, how many players are there? One, two, three, or four? Pick from the stack of coins. You need to pick a side. Do you want to be a hero or a villain? Now pick up the coin of the character that you chose. Now the goal of this game is to try to play six of your coins in a row without being blocked by your opponent. Your six coins can be in a row, vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. But you can also win the game by capturing the coins of your opponent. Arg, matey! <laughs> Whenever your opponent has two coins in a row, you gotta block them on both sides. This is what we call a capture. Six captures and you win. Uh-oh, looks like your opponent is about to capture you. Uh-oh, looks like your opponent is about to capture you. Uh-oh, looks like your opponent is about to capture you. Uh-oh, looks like your opponent is about to capture you. That doesn't seem to be doing anything. That's a one-of-a-kind cuckoo clock, made by Geppetto himself.
In this game, you get to make Bumpy the Clown dance. If you want to practice your dance moves, try freestyle. If you want to try to keep up with Bumpy, try match a move. Hmm, that doesn't seem to be doing anything. If you want to practice your dance moves, try freestyle. If you want to try to keep up with Bumpy, try match a move. Okay, now it's your turn. Now don't pass over those small pictures too quickly, or Bumpy won't have time to perform those dance moves. That doesn't seem to be doing anything. That's Happy. He's the strong one. Why, he can move a boulder almost as easily as he can throw another dwarf. Hey, that's Doc. He's pretty smart, especially when it comes to building things, like bridges. That's Bashful holding the shovel. He may be shy, but there's no holding him back when he's shoveling through a pile of dirt. That's Grumpy. If you think he's grumpy now, just wait till he gets to a rock pile. Now that's Sleepy. He, uh... Well, he just sleeps, but that mine car of his might come in handy. You know, to clear away some debris or something. That's Sneezy. He has the most powerful sneeze I think I've ever seen. You know, <laughs> it just might be strong enough to put out a fire. 
Now that's Dopey. He's got the hardest head I've ever seen. In fact, his head is so hard, he can run right through solid wood. What we're trying to do in this game is to help the seven dwarfs get their mine cars all the way down to the bottom of the mine to collect the jewels. Unfortunately, there's a lot of obstacles in their way, so it's up to you to choose the right dwarf to clear each of the obstacles. to the top where the game is over. Someone strong for this one. Hmm, we're gonna need someone strong for this one. some debris or something. Well done. Now that the last obstacle is cleared, move all of the dwarfs and Sleepy's mine car into the bottom tunnel where all the treasure is. Look at that stuff glimmer. Now to dig yourself out of a mess, first tap on Bashful, then Sleepy, then on the obstacle.
at that stuff glimmer. If you want Happy to toss a dwarf over an obstacle, first tap on Happy, then any other dwarf, and then the obstacle in their way. Phew! Tap on the character that you want, then tap on the character that you want to go. Just look at that stuff glimmer. It's awfully dark in here. 